Dave, well, Opelousas, you know, all kinds of neat things going on in Opelousas, and now we're talking master plan, but we're talking master plan, luckily not with just me, but actually people who know what's going on here. Taylor Lorman, Bill Rodier, and the Opelousas master plan. Why are we doing this? What, what's this all about? Um, so Opelousas is, is at a pivotal point right now in its history. Um, we're seeing a lot of growth coming north out of, out of Lafayette Parish, and so we're just trying to poise uh, the downtown area, you know, for the future and, right. um, you know, do some revitalization projects and, you know, just get it ready for the next, you know, 20, 30 years. Yeah, and all kinds of neat things, as I said, going on in there, Taylor. So, Bill, how is the process going to work? I would imagine you want a lot of input. We use the word charrettes off air. Mm. Uh, you want some folks to come in and actually share their ideas and say, what would you do, right? Yeah, absolutely. The, the future of Opelousas isn't just confined to a small group of people. So right. we really want a large audience to participate in this. You know, when you look at downtowns and you look at Opelousas, the downtown is the heart of Opelousas. Um, the downtown Opelousas really could be the heart right. of St. Landry Parish and really Upper Acadiana. So this just isn't an Opelousas thing. We want a lot of people to come together, um, a lot of input with that. It's got so much character and so much potential and we're seeing so much growth now. We just want to make sure that that growth's managed correctly yeah. and has it has the input of people for the future because as Taylor said, this is the next 10, 20, 30 years and more yeah. uh, for downtown Opelousas. For future generations, we want them involved too. Well, we've all got ideas, you know, and, and you don't want people to sit back and say, man, I wish they would have. Well, now's the time to step to the plate, Taylor, and, and let your voices be heard, right? Absolutely, and we really want to encourage, you know, everyone in the Opelousas community to join in these meetings, um, you know, everyone including students you know and and the younger generations you know because really this is more you know for their for future next correct mm -hmm. correct um and so you know we really do we want to hear from everyone and we want you know input from all different uh, sectors yeah. and and areas of the community well you know we've all got something to bring to the table we might not think we do but we all have something to bring to the table and also i, I would guess Bill, it's also about ownership so that everyone, it's not just that small select power base, everyone can say, this is our town, this is our community, uh, that belongs to all of us, right? Yeah, that's right, that's right. I mean, really, when you look at strong communities, it's a lot of it's pride of ownership in that community. So you don't get pride of ownership unless you really bring people together and ask them what they think and get their input on that. So. Uh, one of the next steps with this process is on this Tuesday evening right. at 6 o'clock at the Opelousa Civic Center, we're going to be holding a charrette at that location, um, and we expect a large audience, and we really, really are excited about the input that they will get. This will be one of several, but this will be a really important time, so we would encourage people, um, again, you don't have to be an Opelousa's resident. We encourage anyone that would have an interest or would, would like to provide interest to downtown Opelousas because there's a lot right. of people that live in Acadiana that were from there. So maybe they want to come back and help to provide some of that input. And lastly, maybe even just people with good ideas saying, here's what we did in our community. You might want to do the same thing or do it differently. Absolutely. So, guys, we appreciate Thank it. Thank you very much. So Tuesday, six o'clock, Opelousas Civic Center and more to come. We will keep you posted. Uh, and I'm sure you guys will do a great job keeping us posted for future charrettes, future meetings. Uh, guys, good to see you. Thanks Absolutely. For Thank you. Thanks for All right. Us. So you're making that gesture. That means lunch menus, right? Is that yeah. what that means? <laughs> lunch menus. Stay with us. Yeah.